Yo, what's up, Astar fans around the world? Welcome back to the Astar Roundup. We have exciting top stories to show you today as we get right into today's video. So, what are the things that are going on in the world of Astar? Today, we start off first with the reported interest of Nottingham Forest and the striker of Arsenal, Eden Ketia. Yes, we understand Nottingham Forest have held talks with Arsenal to facilitate the move for Eden Ketia. And of course, at the moment, the fee being discussed is around 25 million pounds, but Arsenal have not yet accepted because Arsenal wants as high as 35 million pounds or at least 30 million pounds. So both teams are locked in talks to try and strike a deal in the gap or within the range of 30 to 35 million pounds so that is where the deal is at the moment guys so Erin Keita now has a new interest from a Premier League club Nottingham Forest so don't forget Olympic Marcel tried to seal his signature but unfortunately Arsenal did not go in or accept their demands of paying just 27 million euros for Eden Ketia so that left them with no other option than to leave the negotiation table and eventually sign up YE to their club now Nottingham Forest now have confirmed interest in Eden Ketia and are already in talks for Eden Ketia so guys let's just hope Asa are able to seal this one and of course very soon we we'll we'll hear a year will go because we've been hearing talks of Eden Ketia leaving the club for a while now and none of those interests has been materialized. So let's see where this one will go with Nottingham Forest, guys. But as per my own view, guys, what do you think about Arsenal making move for another striker if we eventually sell Edin Ketia for a good price? Yes, we've been discussing the fact that Edin Ketia would have his chances limited even more this season because we have Kai Avas who was originally signed to be a midfielder but because of his emergence last season in that top nine role now this season Eden Ketia will even find chances even harder to get so it's a wise move for him and for Arsenal for him to leave the club now when Arsenal sell this player who are we looking at as potential replacements we are told and we have been reporting on this channel that Arsenal are not really looking at signing a new striker this summer whereas they have keen interest in certain wingers including likes of Coleman, Nico Williams who of course is obviously trying to stay at his club currently and even Lero Sane these are wingers that could join the club so but when it comes to striker the strikers available currently and suitable for our club is Victor Correz and Victor Simeon and Victor Simeon is presumably heading towards London Chelsea and um, Vitor Correz is still available. So let's see if Arsenal sell Eric Eta, If Arsenal would change their plan and get in a new striker for us, we're gonna find out more on that in the coming days and weeks of this transfer window. But guys, comment down below what your thoughts are about Arsenal selling Eric Keta. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. All right, moving on. One man also who could be potentially adding to the Emirates this summer again. He has been linked before with the club previous summer and um, he joined Barcelona but now he seems he's available again in the market his name is Ikai Gondowan former Manchester City midfielder and he would be available according to reports coming from Spain that Barcelona are open to letting him go on a very very cut price deal so now the question is Ikai Gondowan is territory I guess and definitely he would not be the kind of profile that Arsenal usually go for but because of the quality and experience he offers should Arsenal go for Ikai Gondowan guys let me know what your thoughts are about this deal do you feel Arsenal should go for Ikai Gondowan because obviously he has the Premier League experience he has the quality he's a very very great talent in the midfield so should Arsenal look aside their transfer policy of getting younger players and bring in a 33 year old Ikai Gondohan to the club let me know guys what your thoughts are is this due advanced no is there interest from Arsenal no confirmed interest yet because currently we haven't closed on a deal for an army feeder from Spain the resource we have Mikel Merino so the deal is not advanced there's no confirmed interest but the possibility is there because the player himself is ready to leave Camp Nou, the Barcelona team and of course Arsenal would be one of the attractive places he would love to join because he has 
keen admiration for Mika Teta, who he previously worked with at Manchester City, and Asa also have some sort of interest in his kind of talent because we wanted him to to join earlier before he joined Barcelona. He chose to join a team outside of Premier League probably because of the respect he has for Manchester City who are his former employers. So guys, that's one we should keep eye on. Let's see how that one develops of course. But guys, comment down below your thoughts. Should us now go ahead again to sign Ekai Gondelan after he was able to join us last summer and he joined Barcelona or should we of course focus all our energy on a better player out there let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below would like to see you in our next video until then your boy is out